Okay guys, so the last few things we need to do for our MVP landing page for the live version um, is we need to make a 404 page and we need to take off the template debugging. First thing we need to do is just jump in here and do false. That's pretty simple. Um, and then we need to open up uh, a new file for templates. You do 404.html and also do uh, 500.html. Okay. Um, in our live file, we also need to add our allowed hosts. Um, this right here. And we're going to put in mvplanding.com and www.mvplanding.com. Um, of course, it's going to be your domain name, but that's that. Okay, so in our 404, let's open these two up. Um, we'll extend the base and then you just do block content and block and will be 404 is a page not found okay so let's just copy this stuff and we'll just write server error we will fix as soon as possible. That's literally what that is. It's a server error and it will email you um, to whatever admins you have declared here. Now mine's not gonna work because all this stuff. So now we just need to put live 404 and 500 on our server. So let's do that real quick. So we'll go into settings and then live live overwrite and then into our static folder and oops into our templates we are going to put the 404 and 500 templates all right And all I'm doing here is restarting the server. That way our changes will take place because we don't have to sync anything. We just need to restart it. Um, so we'll open back, open, open up our web browser, mvplanding.com. And there we go, looks like it's working okay. So if we do a page not found error, page not found, okay, cool, pretty simple. And the server error, we could probably even simulate it um, because sent will not work. Or it should not work. Okay, so now I've also noticed this bootstrap up here. We actually want to change that to MVP landing. Uh, the way we're going to do that is by going into the base file in Komodo Edit. So go into base and we're just going to look for the title tag uh, and that's bootstrap. So we'll do MVP landing, save that, go here, drag that base file in. It's going to ask you to overwrite, say yes. Let's go back into Chrome, do a quick little refresh. We can do former, that's okay. And MVP landing, boom, it's there. Okay guys, so now you are done. You are ready to go. You have no reason now to not market your idea. This is the point of the MVP landing pages so you can actually go out there and launch your project right now. Go get some real tests, some real feedback. And of course you can say pre-order and it'll be available such and such date. All that stuff's up to you, um, but you can do this as a way to market your idea. There's nothing stopping you, which is awesome. It's exciting, possibly a little bit scary. And of course, if you guys have any questions right now, feel free to email me um, or, um, yeah, I would love to see your project. So so send it my way if, if you have finished one. 
other than that, thanks for starting out so far. Uh, let's get on to the next one. See you then.